Thank you. And the chairman of both the House Oversight and the House Intelligence Committees are saying want to know more about this and about the White House security clearance process. Illinois Congressman Raja Krishnamoorthy is a Democrat on both of those committees. Um, sir, what do you think of this revelation from the Times that the president himself intervened? And also, uh, if that is true, that he lied about not intervening? Well, thanks for having me on, Brianna. I had three reactions. Uh, first, uh, I'm very concerned about the president concealing uh, his potential involvement in ordering uh, Jared Kushner to get top secret clearance. Secondly, uh, it's clear that career law enforcement officials did not want him to have top secret clearance. And then three, um, he has tremendous financial vulnerabilities. He had a hundred errors and omissions on his uh, initial security clearance form where he did not disclose foreign contacts. And so he should not have access to top security clearance. I mean, the man apparently has a uh, portfolio that includes trying to seek Middle East peace, but a lot of people are concerned about whether he's just trying to get a piece of the action. As you prioritize who you want to hear from, what you want to investigate, uh, is this something that you would want to, does this, does this hit the level that you'd want to uh, hold some hearings on this, that you might consider issuing subpoenas, that you'd want to hear from Jared Kushner and John Kelly on this? Possibly. And actually, a Chairman Cummings of the Oversight Committee uh, initially requested documents and materials regarding uh, uh, not only Mr. Kushner, but the entire security clearance process. Uh, those documents have not been forthcoming voluntarily from the White House. Today, he issued another letter asking for compliance by March 4th. Um, if those documents are not produced, I think that he should subpoena documents and witnesses, potentially, um, because uh, this issue is not about partisanship. It's about our national security, Brianna. Would you bring, would you want to see Jared Kushner come uh, for a hearing? Or do you think that there are other things to focus on uh, as opposed to having such a high profile hearing with the president's son-in-law over this issue? Well, I can't think of issues uh, greater than our national security, and I think that this particular issue of Jared Kushner's security clearance might warrant uh, a hearing. Um, I, you know, you, you don't have to look I guess I'm too talking far the, to I see think, what's I hear what you're saying, here. national security, but the Russia investigation, you know, we've seen a Michael Cohen hearing, obviously, that rose to the level. This is, this is something that you think, rise, this, so you're saying this definitely rises to the level that you would want to see a hearing with Jared Kushner? Possibly. I'd, I'd want to see what uh, Chairman Cummings thinks uh, in terms of leading us down this uh, particular path. But, you know, just two weeks ago, we launched uh, a huge investigation uh, with uh, Chairman Cummings' leadership to basically unravel this uh, nuclear secret scandal with Saudi Arabia. There, as you might recall, Jared Kushner tried to rush secret uh, nuclear uh, uh, secrets of America to Saudi Arabia in return for billions of dollars in contracts that would have gone to companies that are connected to Jared Kushner. So that's kind of why it's so important for us to get to the bottom of this security clearance process, uh, especially with regard to Jared Kushner. Uh, you, we, we saw a lot of, everyone saw a lot of Michael Cohen this week on Wednesday. He testified publicly. You had multiple occasions to see him, uh, including uh, privately mm -hmm. in one of his testimonies. So I was wondering, when you were able to see him testifying behind closed doors, and I know you can't say what he said, it's a, an intel hearing, but was it dramatically different or more expansive what you saw him say in private versus public? Um, I can't get into the details of that particular testimony, but what I can say is this, and Chairman Schiff pointed out these things as well. First, um, he was very cooperative. Um, and then secondly, he gave so much testimony on so many subjects that he's going to have to come back again, or he's agreed to voluntarily come back again next week. And that was not expected at the outset. So um, I did not see big inconsistencies uh, between the uh, appearances. Did, did you learn more in private? Uh, I think it's fair to say yes, uh, because of the nature of that hearing. Um, one other thing I just want to point out, Brianna, um, there were no cameras there. As you know, it was mm -hmm. a private uh, hearing. Um, and I think that in some ways uh, led to a little bit more subdued questioning by the Republicans. I think in the 
uh, in the oversight hearing, I really felt that they were playing to the cameras a lot of the time, uh, especially at the outset when they tried to, you know, close down the hearing, like not more than three minutes into the hearing. It looked like they were almost playing to Donald Trump, who apparently was watching live from Vietnam at that time. Playing to the cameras is sort of a, it's a bipartisan tradition. I will add that <laughs> when it comes to hearings that are televised. Um, your, <laughs> possible, your, possible. your questions at that hearing really did reveal a lot, though. Uh, Cohen revealed that there are more investigations being carried out by the Southern District of New York. Did that catch you by surprise? And have you spoken with those prosecutors? Um, honestly, it did catch me by surprise. Um, I have not spoken to any prosecutors in the Southern District about it. I would just point you to the question before that as well, which was kind of related. Um, I had asked uh, what was his last communication with Donald Trump or his advisors, and uh, very interestingly, he said that the White House had commun or Donald Trump or the White House had communicated with him two months after the raid um, on his home. That's very unusual timing. I asked him what was the substance of the conversation, and again, he said, um, I'm not allowed to say because that is under investigation by the Southern District of New York.